Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Kaze Kiri Ninja Action for the PC Engine CD, which is a 1994 release by Nagzat Soft, and it's another one of those rare and expensive PC Engine games, and as usual the dilemma is figuring out whether or not it's worth spending a big chunk of change on it, but that's why I'm here. I spend my money so you don't have to. As the title implies, there is a lot of ninja action in this game. You play as a young ninja warrior named Kaze Kiri who's dispatched to rescue Princess Shizu who has been kidnapped by the evil warlord Hiei and taken to his castle fortress. So right off the bat, it's kind of generic and light on plot, but it's an action game so I don't really care that much. And we do at least get some really cool anime style cutscenes, which is pretty typical for this style of game on the PC Engine CD. The best way to describe the gameplay in Kaze Kiri is that it's kind of like Revenge of Shinobi, except take out all of the platforming elements. It's a very basic, straightforward action hack and slash game where you have to defeat a certain number of enemies in each area before you can move on to the next area or to a boss battle. When you're in range of enemies, you can hack away at them with your sword or you can throw ninja shurikens at them from a distance, but when you throw your shurikens, it actually takes a little bit off of your health. But if you can go long enough without taking any damage, your health will replenish automatically so there are no health power-ups of any kind in this game in fact there are no power-ups in this game period Something I do really like about the gameplay in Kaze Kiri is that it makes great use of the PC Engine's standard controller. With only two face buttons, you might assume that all you can do is jump and attack, but by combining the D-pad with the face buttons, you can do a few extra attacks like dive kicks and dash attacks, for example, but other than that, this is a very basic action game. The gameplay isn't bad, I actually really enjoyed it, it's just very bare bones. I can't help but feel that this would be such a better game if they would have included some platforming because the dashing and jumping are actually really responsive but as it stands it's a fairly generic action game. It's not terribly challenging and it's really short. You'll probably finish it in about 30 to 40 minutes so just judging by gameplay alone Kaze Kiri doesn't really warrant the kind of prices it demands these days. I think the presentation in Kaze Kiri is really good and it feels like Nagzat put more time into developing the look and feel of the game rather than the gameplay. The graphics are really good if a little underutilized in spots and the soundtrack is awesome. I think the visuals while they're pretty outstanding. They're colorful, there's lots of multiple scrolling layers, stuff in the foreground, background, the characters all look good, the animations are smooth. A lot of the stages are set in interiors and they kind of all run together at a certain point. A little bit drab, a little generic looking, but definitely a nice looking game. The soundtrack is excellent. It's a lot of high energy synthesizer techno rock kind of music and the CD quality sound really shines through here so I think the visuals are good I'd say they're maybe on par with something like Dracula X but again they don't put as much detail into the stages as they do in Dracula X so it kind of suffers a bit in the visual department and the soundtrack is outstanding so while I think the gameplay is really fun, but also really generic, and definitely 
not enough meat on its bones. The visuals and sound design are outstanding. Again, I'm not sure it's worth the prices it demands online these days, but definitely a very well-made game at least. So while I did enjoy this game, I can't recommend buying it to anyone other than collectors because of the price tag. If you take a look on eBay, you'll see that it goes anywhere from $150 upwards of $200 on average, and I just can't recommend paying that, especially when there are so many other action games on the PC Engine that are just as good or better, and they don't cost nearly as much. Unfortunately, the only other way I can think of to get a copy of this game would be to pick up the PCE Works PC Engine Memories Best of Japan box set, but don't even ask me how much that goes for these days. So if you don't have a spare couple of hundred bucks just lying around and you want to try Kaze Kiri, your best bet is probably to download and play a ROM, which if you do decide to go that route, I think you'll have fun with Kaze Kiri. It is a straightforward mindless ninja action game that you can enjoy in short spurts. Kaze Kiri is definitely not bad. Ah! Ah! 